Lockheed Martin really has been the industry leader in developing new hypersonic technology for what, the past 60 years? Yes, we started thinking back to the SR-71 and we've been advancing. In fact, in the, in the 2010 timeframe, we had a program called Falcon. In Falcon, we had a vehicle that went Mach 20. So you can get an idea of, of that. We're pushing technology now, both for the um, Air Force, the Navy, and um, the Army, and different hypersonic programs that are current. So on that, can you talk a little bit about that hypersonic technology that Lockheed Martin's, you know, leading from the front? Sure. The, you know, some of the things that are really um, the, the important to keep is, what do we need to be doing for engine technology? So advancements in scramjets, how do we get those so that they're much less expensive than they were in the past? And how do we keep going with advanced materials, right? You think about a Dark Star and all of that glow that you had on the nose when in the film. How do we have that so that our hypersonic vehicles are survivable?